Hi, Chef Matt here with Cooper's High. I want to tell you about an amazing event that we're preparing for you for this Sunday. We are bringing you a virtual wine club dinner. Emily Wines will be filming right from her own home in California, talking about wine and pairings. And I will be teaching you a fantastic traditional dish from Rome, Cacio Pepe. So Cacio Pepe literally means cheese and pepper. Very few ingredients, and that's one of the things I just love about this dish. So I just happen to have bucatini pasta. So traditionally this is made with spaghetti or bucatini, but this can be made with farfalle or penne or any pasta that you have. We have two different cheeses. I like to use two different cheeses. So this is Pecorino Romano. Nice and salty, a lot of character. And this is Sartori's Sarvecchio Parmesan. Sartori is one of our partners out in Wisconsin that makes fabulous cheeses, especially this Sarvecchio Parm. A lot of character, a lot of nuttiness. So these two cheeses together work really well. Some really good unsalted butter. Kosher salt for seasoning the water. Fresh cracked black pepper. The tool that we use for the cheese is a microplane. As you can see, these cheeses are very, very fine, almost like powder, like snow. So when they hit the pasta and the pasta is warm, literally it just melts into the dish. So now we're gonna start. We're gonna season our water. We've got about four quarts of water here. We wanna season it pretty well so that it's salty like the ocean, okay? This pasta water is not only going to cook the pasta, but it is the base for our sauce. So now we're gonna add our pasta to our salted water. We're gonna cook this for about nine minutes. Because the pasta is going to cook just a little bit more in the sauce, we don't wanna have it cooked all the way. So while the pasta is cooking, we're going to add a couple tablespoons of our unsalted butter to our saute pan here. And we're just gonna to start to allow this to melt. And we're gonna put some cracked black pepper, basically about a medium grind, and just enough to coat the bottom of the saute pan. Remember, the name of this dish is cheese and pepper. And the goal here is to melt the butter just slightly and toast the peppercorn. What that does is it releases the oils in the pepper and really brings out that wonderful aroma of the pepper. Once it starts to melt and you start to get a little bit of bubble or foam, you want to turn it off and wait for the pasta to be done. So before the pasta is totally finished and before I strain it, what I like to do is actually remove about maybe a cup and a half to two cups of the pasta water because again, that's what we are going to use for the base for our sauce for this. Gonna turn the heat back on to the toasted peppercorns and butter. Our pasta is almost finished. So right as it comes back up to a simmer, gonna add about a cup to a cup and a half of the liquid. Gonna keep this sauce on very, very low so it doesn't reduce. Bring this up to a boil. I'm going to add our pasta here. Now here's where the magic happens. So basically you have this beautiful sauce that's just starting to reduce and it's a combination of that that liquid, so that has salt in it. The cheese has salt in it. We do not have to add any more salt to this. We're going to add one more tablespoon of butter here. 
And now we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna start to add our cheeses. So what you wanna do is lightly spread the pecorino over the top and just let it melt. Maybe about a quarter cup. About a half a cup of the Cervecchio Parmesan. Let that come up to temperature and get warm. If there's a little liquid, you can just reduce it slightly. Touch more cheese. One very important thing is to toss the pasta very, very well. Make sure all the cheese is melted. And as you can see, all the sauce is enveloping the pasta really, really well here. Looks really rich. And just a real simple garnish of a little bit more cheese. Just another touch of some cracked black pepper. And I like to just finish with a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. I think it's time to take a taste. Amazing. Perfect with a glass of our Cooper's Hawk Pinot Gris. We'll have to talk to um, Emily and see what she would like with it. We hope to see you all on Sunday for our virtual wine club dinner. Emily Wines, Chef Matt McMillan from Cooper's Hawk. Cheers.